Hi there, I'm Ailey from AileyWildy.com. I'm an online organization coach for women in business and I really just help people get organized with their systems and their time so that they can get things done without burning out. Evernote for me is a fantastic tool for doing that and just helps you manage information in a much better way. Um, it's the perfect tool to have like a one-stop shop for everything that you need to keep or access. Um, just bits of information. I find that um, having lots of notebooks is great because you need to get your ideas out. But what do you do when you've finished a notebook and all those ideas have to go somewhere? Um, and then you have to find it again. And how many notebooks back was that? Um, so Evernote is the perfect way to contain all that information. You can scan your notes into Evernote if you like um, as an alternative if you still like writing. Um, but today I want to show you the basics of Evernote, how to set up a note and a book, a notebook and a stack and a few elements on the page. So let's have a look. So here's my Evernote and I'm in the notebook view. So you can have notes and you can have notebooks where lots of notes can go into a notebook and you can have stacks where lots of notebooks can go into a stack. So here is my personal development stack where I have eight notebooks and lots of different notes in each of those notebooks. Um, this is my business one that has 33 notebooks and if I just change the view, you see how this is the square view and this is um, the more linear view. This is my stack and you can see all the different notebooks and look, I've got and how many notes I've got in each notebook. So it's a great way of storing information and organizing it very quickly. Um, you can also see the view down here. Um, so that's sitting there um, and I can I can just create, you know, every time I need to put something new in that doesn't fit in, I can create a new notebook because you just click here, new notebook. You can search for a notebook um, and, and off you go. So I'm going to change to the note view. So I'll click here. Here are my notes. So if I click in, let's see, guest blogs, the notebook of guest blogs. So this is all my notes. Um, each one contains a note, a, a blog that I've written um, or that I've pinned from the internet because you can pin things. So um, this button here changes the view and you can have different views. You can have cards, you can have the list on the side, the list on the top um, and there's all my notes and when I created them and tags. Um, I kind of like, here's the view. The snippet view is the one that I use. Um, so here you can create a new note. So if I create a new note in this notebook, it will stay in there. I can call it um, new blog post. Um, I can add a tag. And a tag is a really powerful way of searching in Evernote because you can have over 10,000 tags in Evernote. So um, and it's a great way of, of um, so I can blog, guest post, um, and I'm going to say productivity, um, so that I've kind of covered my bases there. Um, so if I there's the the heading um, that will always stay in this bold view here. So once I um, put my cursor down here, it's kind of like a word document. You can either paste um, content. If you're copying it from somewhere, you can clip content from the internet using the web clipper. You can forward emails if you have the premium version of Evernote um, into Evernote and file them if you know automatically if you have um, that and that will it will put just put them in there and you don't even have to go in and, and refile, it's all done. But here I can just start typing. Um, and, and I can format it. So just I just will show you a couple of these formatting elements. Um, they have lots of different fonts. You can change the size of the text, all those kinds of things. Um, whether you underline, whether you highlight the change, changing of color. You can have dot points. You can have numbered. You can have check boxes. So some people really like Evernote for its list ability. So you can just create lots of lists and keep checking in there daily if you have a master list and then a daily list 
um, and you can just check off um, with your check boxes um, and just you know keep um, adding lists you can I'm just going to go down here, put in dividing lines. You can obviously um, change the, the alignment. You can add tables just by dragging how many you want. And once you've gone there, you can just go down here and tab and it'll just add more um, rows. You can even record your voice. You can take a snapshot and you can attach files. So Evernote is a great way of just keeping all information in one place. Up here you can set an alarm so if you're using this as a, um, a project management tool or a task management tool you can um, have um, you can set time and date here um, and that will come out at the top here at a reminder and these are all the reminders and you can also set them to come up on your phone or in your email. Um, if you have the premium version, you can um, put it in presentation. You can annotate the note. So you can write on the note, you can put arrows. Um, if it's a presentation, you can you can you know, do all sorts of things with it. Um, you can get information, you can delete it, and you can share it, um, which is a lovely thing to do. Um, you can share either the notebook or the note um, or the stack. So um, you can just add a message and the email address and share. Um, you can also create a PDF um, from your note, convert note to PDF, and then you can upload it. Um, so it's a very handy tool. So that's just a really quick um, overview of the formatting tools um, without going into too much detail, um, but you get a, an idea of just how flexible it can be. Hope that was really helpful. I'm Ellie Wildy. If you have any questions for me, let me know. Send me an email or comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye.